Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be doing something a bit more different. So it's not really a Magic the Gathering um, unboxing, but we'll be doing an unboxing of Hajimari no Kiseki. Um, so basically, I press. It's a bit more different to what I normally unbox, but before the channel started, I actually did do a lot more of the Japanese um, uh, unboxing, like trading cards and things like that. Um, recent years, I've actually been a bit more, well, actually, for the last 10 years, I've actually been playing the Legend of Heroes JRPG series, and I've actually always been quite a fan. And um, probably like a year ago, they released this special product. So it's basically like an art collector card. Um, 34 types, each box comes with 10 packs. Each card, or each pack comes with three cards and a box comes with three packs so you're never going to get a full set even if there is like no dupes and stuff like that um from my understanding they've actually used the original artwork for um the hajimari game and um not not the game but it was for like a promotional i remember they did like calendars or something because i bought that and um i've never actually never used it bought it for, for the artwork and stuff so it's actually quite cool um falcon products are actually more like really niche and they are normally made in japan i'm not i think they are starting to get a bit more wild um a bit more known in the western uh, gaming jrpg community so if you ever like it yeah like for example kuro no kiski is coming out in the next couple of like next month and stuff like that yeah that's a really big rpg if you ever are a jrpg fan um i'll probably say have a look at it um it, it's a lot to digest though it's very traditional um japanese rpg and yeah so you can see how niche this is you can see that it's actually quite a small print run and a lot of them a lot of these companies they don't really even do booster packs like the booster pack is basically just in like that i remember there was a there was a time where i actually got um i think like acrylic uh prints and stuff like that and they all just come in packs like this <laughs> so it's you can see that it's definitely not uh how do i say it it's actually not like mass produced so it's actually quite a rare product um inside there's yep three cards and it'll tell it'll say that each card each pack you get three random cards so we'll have a look and i'm not too sure how to open this i think we might just have to tear it open wow so it's actually high gloss so it's high gloss card and on the back it will actually tell you which character it is so we got laura we got uh, guys and we got picnic party <laughs> that's a bit strange so on the card back it's everything it's all different um it is actually all glossed and it's sharp edges so it is actually pretty scary to look after these cards card size wise it's a bit more i can see that it's a bit more smaller so if i grab um a wise card so there's our normal standard magic size um, card it is actually a bit more smaller. So I'll probably say Yu-Gi-Oh size. Yeah. So these are all just collector. Do I have a Yu-Gi-Oh card here? Maybe not. Don't really have access to it. But anyway, okay, let's have a look. Um, so we're here for the art. And so obviously no text and stuff like that. So, but it's basically just artwork. Oh, that's cool. So um, we do actually have like embossed like gold foiling type like that so maybe each pack you get like a rear card or something like that so we'll have a look so we got muse crow and emma okay so this emma crow i still think he should have died um, stay dead and then we have Muse Muse so she came out in like uh, Sen 3 I think <laughs> I can't really remember too much it's because a lot of their games actually come out like once every year and it's actually like a huge arc so it's not like Final Fantasy where 
you get one game story it actually trails on so that one is so we got Ren oh the main character for Sin and then we got Rixia Mao she's a favorite and Atiel Atiel from um, Crossbell arc so that's her grown up and then Ren that is cool Ugh. It's a bit cold here in New Zealand, so can't really. Yeah, it's a bit. So I got. Oh, nice. We got Elisa. So she's basically like the main female character. We got Crow again, and we got Lloyd. So Lloyd is from Crossbell. So Crossbell arc. Oh, it's a different artwork of Lloyd. So I mean, um, Crow. So that's actually not too bad at the moment. We don't have any double up, and. I do really like her. Um, she is like the main female character um, from Sin series. So if you're actually into the game, um, it is basically a very story heavy game. Um, it talks about like a lot about like politics and stuff like that. And um, the combat is completely like JRPG. So it's turn based, very old school. Graphics is not really the best, so you're not going to expect anything like Final Fantasy 7 Remake. But then, the thing is that, I think Falcom has a very good art direction themselves. So, yeah, they, they are probably pretty good. Oh, so... Oh, so we got Ash, Jesus, and Rabbit Sisters. Yeah, so if you play in, in the game, those are like basically, um, like... Sisters, kind of, yeah, I won't spoil too much, but yeah, you do actually fight one of them in the beginning, but then afterwards, they actually become like party members and stuff. Halloween, Faye, and Randy. Cool, that's Randy. And then we have Faye. So she's like, uh, uh, she's basically another main character that you can get, get to play with. And Halloween, so this is basically another real. It's quite cool. So far, it seems like you get the full 33 cards that are different. Um, fingers crossed. So I'm not too sure what the 34th card is. Maybe it's like a secret real, and um, maybe you get that. So much yes, no, and lazy. Oh, maybe we get. All right, so. Yes, Randy. The next thing is to actually figure out how to actually store these cards. Probably just have to like sleeve it well. We got Elliot, Rain, and Aurelia. Cole. Yeah, so she, yeah. We won't really go into the details of it, we'll just look at the artwork. Elliot. Oh, so we go. Oh, Altina. So she's one of the rabbit sisters. And then ladies first. Rufus. So that's Rufus. <laughs> Altina. That is cool. And lucky last pack. Oh. We don't get Sin or the other girl. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. Lucky last pack. Cool. So there's Altina. Again. <laughs> Lloyd. Awesome. Alright, so, so far that's actually pretty cool. We got all, all, all the packs we got so far is actually all different. So it seems like it's a set, but we're just missing one card from it. Um, not too sure. Oh, I, I guess we're missing that. I think we've got... Huh. Maybe. Ah, oh well. Anyway. That's basically that. So yeah, just a cute, like, fun unboxing for 
this since I haven't done anything like this for quite a while. Thanks for watching. You guys take it easy. If you're ever into like JRPGs, have a look at the Kiseki series. Um, they're actually quite fun to play. Thanks again. Take it easy.